check it out. Let's check it out. Okay, so as we're working our way down the shoreline here, let me just... We're currently sitting in that little chunk of land in, like, A2. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's B2. More to, If you're going to cut B2 into fours, we're, like, in the lower left-hand corner of B2. It's just before Cami. Let me go ahead and show. Cami is down in this direction past this boathouse. Um, this is an interesting island, and when I walked through here and saw this build, clearly we're in 102 right now. Again, councils are waiting for versions 104, but we have been playing... Uh, I should say the console's PlayStation and Xbox. Did I say that? Um, we're waiting for 104, but we have been playing 104 on the PC. And just knowing how building's going there, um, yeah, this is really ridiculously big because of all the duping and stuff. Clearly, it would be very expensive. Not impossible to do a build like this large, but it does bring up an interesting point. Like, this is unnecessarily big. Um, if we kind of sneak our way in here... Uh, it kind of brought up an interesting point. Like, I do like some of the stuff that's going on here. Um, of course, there's crazy tents and stuff. But, I mean, that doesn't mean we couldn't get some ideas from this and maybe use it in 104 in the very near future or even think about builds uh, right now just to get the feel for it because, really, a lot of people are asking me, hey, man, 102 is trashed. What do we do right now? I say go down the shoreline to Solnichi, you know, get some fighting going on, Solnichi being an A4. You know, pick up some of the ARs, some snipers, get familiar with that type of gunplay. Just grab them off of anybody and, you know, just get good with your combat. Or if, I mean, I, I would highly suggest if you can get building materials from a duped camp or something, right? Like clap the duper, take his stuff, start practicing your building. Like, my goodness, you're going to build in the update. I promise you that. So this this brings up an interesting point. Obviously, this is this is massive. This is what? One, two, three, four five five watchtowers I can tell you right now these are super expensive you can no longer pull out the poles in 104 you have to use them for each level but it does kind of show an interesting way to do the builds right so um, you can use fences like down here as we're looking at which work great um, but I notice how they use these watchtowers to kind of create a fence around it and you can even leave off this side and and put a fence in front of there and actually make a gate out of it. There's many different ways to combine it. Or even here. If you look down here, this is one covered area. Obviously, this got broken into down here. But if you get up on the second level, you have a lot of walkable space here. You could work up more walls, create a shooting la layer right here. But what really got my interest was, what if you did spend a little bit of time and rope this off in a smaller way? Let me show you what I'm talking about. What if you just... Um, instead of it being like out here in a fence, maybe you just started here with a fence kit and you just roped your way in as close as you could to the building, right? And then roped it off in this direction. That would be much cheaper, a lot more realistic with the new update coming, right? I mean, you'd still like two people in, or more, right? And you'd ha probably have to have a vehicle on your side. And let's not kid ourselves, this area is sitting in B2. It's in between Cami, which is it, which is B2. Um, it's the dark text there in the center of B2, and Electro is D1 and C1, so you'd have to really be careful. Also, keep in mind, there'd be a lot of fresh spawns potentially coming up on your base going, this is cool, what's this? What's this? You know, trying to take your stuff. But, um, I mean, it might be worth it. Shoot, this isn't terrible. If you look outside, this doesn't have a lot of amenities. This character's new, so I am going to swap this out right here. We're going down to clap some dupers and take their stuff. We'll show you how the process works here in a minute. <laughs> but if you look outside, this boathouse is really nice. Uh, you could do some building around there. It's a little goofy, but um, and maybe we get to some building on that later on this week, considering that the delay happened again. But you have a lot of these boats here, and if you do a lot of loot cycling, the legitimate kind, uh, you can get lots of different types of food. Um, there's at least two here. I think there's another two across this. Oh, wait, you know, you have the shed, and then you have another two on the other side of the boathouse here. So those are good sources of food. The house can also be a good source of food. Um, the sheds can spawn, obviously, car things and whatnot. You guys know that, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, you have a few trees. You would have to wait for the trees to respawn after a restart. Um... But really, you would probably want to ferry most of them in using a vehicle or using your own teammates. See, look, you got more boats on this side. That's not terrible. I don't know, something to think about. I thought it was kind of interesting 
to do a build back here and then to maybe use the house. And let's go back to what we were doing here on this side. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got, uh, obviously it would not be this large. This is so ridiculously big. Not impossible, like I said, but man. Oh, yeah. We've done building a 104 legitimately without having dupers loot everywhere. And it takes a minute. But I thought this was interesting. We did do a build like this. I believe it was called Advanced Building, which is in our Daisy Highlights playlist. Uh, but creating a way to get up on top of here and then creating more of these <coughs> cover pieces on top. These are just fences. And you can build up not only the wall here, but you can do stairs and then a platform. So you can kind of do, you know, peek over the top, which is nice. You get a lot of natural cover. You have good access to the road here. And you're really commanding this, this zone. Yeah, you probably won't be clapping a lot of geared players doing this, but at least you'd have a fortified position. This is nice too, again, showing the ability of putting together multiple watchtowers and what you can do with it, which is cool. And it kind of shows you some of the places you can place it. Clearly, I mean, look how expensive this is. This is almost worth a screenshot. What's up, everybody in the chat? Balance is crazy. Says that base is cray. Tell me about it. See, that's way too expensive for a kicker, right? Like to start. But I I kind of like the idea of doing something, you know, roping it off tight, which would be, oh, my legs. To my estimation, it would be what? I guess on the super cheap, you could even do it tighter. But like what we did initially, okay, this is a fence. This is a fence. So that's two. This would be three, four, five. And then we'll just say there's some odd long shapes. So like six. Six fences, if you wanted to go bigger to this, you could. Uh, you could even rope it in tighter. You could even, uh, you know, close off an additional two squares and maybe use four and just use some sort of gate on this side until you've got it locked down, which is it's doable. And let's not forget, cooking your food is definitely going to be a thing in this new update, and you've got your own built-in uh, furnace. Well, not furnace, but uh, what is it? Cooking station. Man, I can't think of the name of it. Uh, fireplace to cook from. Yeah, the update got a got delayed again yeah this video right here should cover it I'll make sure I put it in the cards and I don't think it's in the description yet but Nightbot will have you right there we did do a little cover on that earlier yeah I was lurking this morning to see if the update was coming in. and today is July uh, well it's almost it's almost Tuesday but today is July 29th so yeah currently when this is being filmed and streamed we are anxiously awaiting PlayStation and Xbox. We're anxiously awaiting that 104 update, which is great. It feels so good on the PC. We did a stream from it earlier today. It's definitely good. So it's something to look forward to, and it's going to solve a lot of this duping trash that we're dealing with right now. Thank goodness. Performance issues, a lot of stuff. Man, this is so expensive. I'm just walking through here going, dang, dude. This is pricey. So, yeah, and you do have access to Electro over on the opposite side and Cami. Cami's okay. Um, it definitely has some more warehouses and such. You definitely wouldn't rope off something like this in the beginning. It's just too big. Because remember what I always say, start small, then build outwards. You can do multiple layers like they did in this back wall over here, but you definitely don't want to start that way. You want to make sure you've got an area to control first and then build out. So like, like you can see these multi layers up here. I don't know if they did it because they couldn't place it here initially or what, but oops. I think it's over here on this side. There's so much trash here. It says I hope they don't lose players over the setbacks. Oh yeah, mm, it'll come back. Trust me, once it's good. Yeah, see you have like multiple layers here, which is cool. You're gonna want to make um, honeycombed gates and everything else, but. You definitely want to start on the small first and then build out. But yeah, this just shows some some of the honeycombing that you could do. Clearly, since duping is a problem right now in 102 on the Xbox and PlayStation, this is why you see something this crazy big. Now, again, I said earlier, it's a, totally possible to see something like this. But I think in the wild, it, like after it's been a week or two and you have a big group, but you wouldn't see this many watchtowers. You'd see a lot more fences. You'd see a couple of watchtowers, right? Maybe four, but you wouldn't see them back to back like this. It's so expensive to do this. I do like this idea of having these multi layers. Once you kind of see things stacked like this, you're like, yeah, you could even just stick your secondary stairs that go up on this side as opposed to having it here. 
so you have yourself a lot of defense and whatnot, but they clearly did this to command the road. Which isn't a bad thought. I know I didn't build this, but I thought I'd just run through it and kind of show people some of the uh, the stuff we come across. It can give you some ideas. All right, I don't think I dropped anything else. Let's go ahead and check some of the loot. And then we're off to Cami, I guess. It's typically where a lot of the fighting occurs. Oh, a wrench. You know what's funny? I was just going to try to throw this, but I, it's the wrong version. <laughs> we can't do that here. Oh, the sun's going down. How do we get out of this hot mess? I am so confused. So yeah, if you're wondering um, what's going on with 104, we do have a lot of things in the Daisy Highlights playlist. I've been going over a lot of the changes that have been happening in 104, so people are ready. Again, Daisy Highlights playlist. That should also be in the description in the cards below, or I'm sorry, the cards at the top right. And I'll stick it in the chat right now. Another great reason to subscribe to the channel, or even just dig into that playlist. And be sure to drop a like on the video or stream, depending on where you are, as that does help out. I am still a small creator. Doesn't that look wild from back here? Let's see if we can get a good shot of this real quick. That's freaking nuts. Let me go first person. It might be a little bit better. That's insane. Not the best time of day for this, but we can deal. <sighs> this is you horror. We know you can't throw. I know, but I was used to it from the earlier part. That's funny that you said that, though. Because I thought you would throw that wrench, and I just remembered, too. I know, the wrenches are great because it makes a clank. Is that another wrench? Get out of here. Great way to loot cycle, too. Let's not forget that. Might have to push the levels on this later. But not a bad. Not a bad. It says, sorry, random question now. It says, what stream is about? It says, how long do locked doors stay locked with a lock pick? Locked doors will stay locked until somebody lock picks them. Is that a random question? That's a good question. And so I should also say throughout the week we'll be doing more 104 streams, answering people's questions, testing things, and we'll be doing obviously more DayZ, uh, 102 and, and whatnot, making the dupers pay dearly. So stay tuned for that. And we will be giving some of the other games some love throughout the week too. Uh, we wanted to potentially do some Agrarian Skies, uh, which is a Minecraft mod by the way, which is amazing. And do some space engineers, and I think people have seen some of that already, but yeah, some open world survival. Because again, we know we're going to go deep when 104 hits. I love, I love your bush. It smells good to me. Okay, let's head down the shore for real this time. What's up, everybody? Let's just take a crowbar to those walls, yoink some nails. Yeah, I know, right? 